All right, so we've got this up on jack stands. We took this uh, cover plate off and we loosened the grease cert. And basically what that does is when this assembly pushes out and tensions the tracks, uh, it's used to grease pressure. So we're gonna actually let that grease come back out. I've got some paper towels and some uh, aluminum foil in here because it's gonna make a real big mess. And then uh, I don't have any fancy tools, but we have a bunch of inch and a half uh, scheduled 40 PVC since we do septic uh, systems all the time. So these work really well to uh, put in here and make this thing uh, come off the idlers. All right, real slow that. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, hold up. This whole assembly is sliding back in there and pushing the force of the grease out. Okay, keep going. Okay, that's good. A little more. And then put these in every other tooth stop. We put them in every other tooth on this thing, and once it gets to this end, it'll give us enough clearance to slide this track right off these idlers. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Okay, stop. A little more. Right there. Okay, let's let that squeeze out a little bit more. We have a pry bar. Now we've got it off the front idlers. We're going to come in here with a strap and just take this off with our mini X. got these tracks off we're gonna take these sprockets and even though they don't look too bad they still develop more of a hook on the forward side versus the reverse side because obviously you're traveling forward more than reverse so we're gonna take this sprocket and put it on that side that sprocket to this side to even out that wear got my trusty brushless half inch DeWalt impact Okay. Got one. That's a 
Is that it? Zip. Now we'll pump some grease in there and tension this trap and we're done.